Hey everyone, it's Serica and welcome back to the studio. Today I am going to set up my April bullet journal spreads. And I know I haven't filmed any of the other months except for January this year. So I'm going to show you my March pages so you can see how I've used it so far. I've got my tasks and my calendar and I've also been using weekly spreads. Now I didn't really enjoy using the vertical spread, so I'm going to continue doing the kind of spread where I divide it into eighths. That one has been working out really well for me. But of course, to begin, I'm going to do my April cover page. I've chosen a few vintage stickers, I've got some graph scrapbook paper, a few pieces of washi tape, and this little craft calendar. I'm going to cut off the part that says April, and I'm going to save it for another page. I'm also using some rubber stamps and the color theme that I'm going with this month is a rusty orange combined with a little bit of sage green. I've been reserving most of my creative energy towards my daily art habit where I draw a little bit every day, but I still enjoy having some collages in my bullet journal. And I guess that's why I haven't really been recording my process lately. It's because I feel like my spreads are so simple that there's not really much to talk about. But a lot of you have told me that you really miss my bullet journal videos and my journaling videos. So here you are. For the large calendar, I am doing the exact same thing I've been doing for the other months, which is to create a grid system with six by six boxes. This notebook makes it so easy to do so because it has these divider marks at the halfway point and then it has one third points as well. I'm using a Zebra Sarasa gel pen and I recently got their vintage color set. This is Cassis Yellow and it just goes perfectly with the rusty orange theme that I've got going on. This is probably the simplest spread that I've ever done. It's only two stamps and that little April sticker that I cut off of the other one for the cover page. And that's it. Super simple, but it's effective. I'm going to write down one notable thing that happens every day. And it's such a great way to have an overview of the month. There's only three days in the first week of April, so I'm dividing this page into thirds and then using my date stamp to mark the days. And on the opposite page, I am doing the April task page. Again, really simple, just a few pieces of washi tape and some stamping.
To wrap up the video, I am doing one full weekly spread. I divide the page in half and then half again, and that leaves me with eight sections for the spread. Since there's only seven days of the week, of course, I'm gonna decorate the top left corner with some more vintage ephemera, a stamp, and a few stickers. By the way, please excuse the auto-focusing. It's acting kind of weird because I switched cameras and I'm still learning how to use it. So hopefully by the next video, I will know exactly how to control that. And that is it for my April pages. Here you are again, just gonna flip through them. It's super simple, but I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next video, I wanna wish you a great month ahead. Happy journaling, happy art making. I'll see you next time.